Why do we judge so much? Really, let's think about it. It's got to be the most useless thing that we do. And I'm not just talking to you, I'm talking to myself as well. This is something that I recently promised myself that I would work on. I was telling my brother the other day about how I was walking home from the gym and I heard a man talking really, really loud on the phone. And I immediately noticed it, but not just that, I began criticizing him. I began thinking, this man must have zero education. He's so rude, he's so inconsiderate of others. Does he not realize that there are other people around? Then I began paying attention to the way he was. Hmm, this man definitely smokes like two packs of cigs a day. I wonder what his voice was like before he started smoking. Nah, he doesn't look like he has his life together. And on and on I went. But wait, hold on. What happened to that construction truck that passed by earlier? You know, the one that was 10 times louder and 10 times more disruptive than the man that I'm so focused on? Yeah, why didn't I get bothered by that? Ah, I know why. It's because we're always trying to find a reason to judge another person. You see, we have selective attention. We pay attention to what we want. It's because there's so many things going on, there's way too many things going on, that it's impossible to absorb everything. So we choose what to notice, analyze, evaluate, and judge. But what if we could practice just noticing, without all the excessive evaluation and judgment? What if we could just be present and hear, see, smell things as they come, but not create all that negative energy within ourselves. That tiring, exhausting energy that we manifest. Life would be so much more peaceful. I'm not saying that we should never analyze situations. I'm just saying we should be more aware of how we do it and when we do it. Because we just do it at excessive amounts and most of it is just negative. So to answer the question, why do we judge? We judge because we have a lack of confidence in ourselves. We feel the need to position someone beneath us to remind ourselves that there are people that are worse than us. That's literally what it is. Yeah, that's the intention, but does it actually work though? Perhaps for a brief moment, maybe for half a second, you feel slightly better. But really, overall, you're just making yourself suffer. Think about it, when you judge and criticize negatively, doesn't your face tense up a little bit? Don't you feel angry? Why are you making yourself angry? It's an unpleasant feeling. So what started as the intention to raise our self-worth in the context of someone's lack of worth ended up as a session of suffering of two, five, 10 minutes. Sometimes it can even ruin your day. You know, sometimes I'd rather just be a cow in the fields because cows, they don't overthink the same way we do. They're not identified with their minds like we are. They're just there, you know, eating, reproducing, sleeping, walking around, smelling, purely present. Why can't we be like that? Anyway, that's it for today. Please like and comment if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And yeah, let's make this channel grow. Peace.